House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is trying to win support for his debt limit proposal, and a Senate panel plans to examine ethics on the U.S. Supreme Court. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is working to hold a vote as early as this week on a proposal that would increase the debt limit. It would be in exchange for cuts in federal spending. As NPR's Jimena Bustillo reports, McCarthy is still working to win support for this from fellow Republicans. McCarthy is whipping votes in the House and remains confident a vote could come as soon as this week. But several House Republicans are pushing for changes to keep ethanol tax incentives. This bill is to get us to the good negotiating table. It's not the final provisions, and there's a number of members that will vote for it going forward to say there are some concerns they have with it. The bill would increase the country's borrowing limit by $1.5 trillion or through March of next year, whichever comes first. And it aims to erase key aspects of President Biden's agenda, including his college loan forgiveness proposal and many of the climate provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act the bill passed last year. Jimena Bustillo, NPR News, Washington. Ukrainian and Chinese officials say that Chinese President Xi Jinping held a phone conversation today with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The Ukrainian leader says the conversation was meaningful. Zelensky also says Ukraine will send an ambassador to China. The Biden administration says it's taking new steps to protect South Korea from its neighbor, North Korea. One of those steps is deploying a nuclear-armed submarine to South Korea. The South Korean leader is making a state visit to President Biden today. Former President Donald Trump is in the second day of a civil trial in New York City. Writer E. Jean Carroll has accused him of rape and defamation. NPR's Ilya Maris reports Trump's team is striking at Carroll's credibility. In his opening statement, Trump attorney Joseph Tacopina said Carol's story is a fabrication and that she's motivated by money and fame. He said her allegations are an affront to justice and that they harm real rape victims. Carol says Trump locked her in a department store changing room nearly 30 years ago and raped her. And her lawyers say they can produce a host of witnesses to corroborate this version of events, even without video or forensic evidence. Carol herself plans to take the stand, as well as two other women who say Trump made aggressive sexual advances on them as well. Merits and PR News, New York. The chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Democrat Dick Durbin of Illinois, says his panel plans to examine ethics at the U.S. Supreme Court during a hearing next week. NPR's Giles Snyder says the chief justice is declining to appear. Senator Durbin says his committee will consider what he calls common sense proposals to hold justices more accountable, following published reports about the ties between Justice Clarence Thomas and a wealthy conservative donor. Durbin issued a statement after Chief Justice John Roberts declined to appear at the hearing, citing the separation of powers and judicial independence. NPR's Giles Snyder reporting. You're listening to NPR News.